You can test Is it. Someone doing donuts right now. Sorry. Um, look at my goddamn camel toe. Up in this <laughs> 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 It's like all up in here. Okay. All right. Well, I guess test it out. Three, two, one. Action. <laughs> Welcome Half Bait. I'm Sarah. I'm Seneca. <laughs> I'm Victoria. We have a guest, finally. Oh, am I supposed to do this too? <laughs> we are. It looks great. Something like that. Wait. There we go. Um, I fucked up. <laughs> Victoria forgot. Um, the a lens. lens. Right. So we're we're filming from okay. my brand new iPad. <laughs> so. Thanks to our sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> we'll see. So it's been a while. It's been a couple weeks. We're late again. We we're late the last one. Yeah, we're I've always late. I've been supposed late. to come up here for like the past three since we started. Is <laughs> it <laughs> so, okay? Do you even listen to our podcast? I watch faithfully. Okay. As Yay. soon as I see you guys post it, I'm like, I got the notifications on my phone and everything. I love yeah, it. A fan and a friend. <laughs> I haven't even watched the last one. I forgot about it. <laughs> I started watching it and then I went into work. I was, I was listening to it in the car. Thank God, I mean, Steve put so much work into it. I've been the worst. It's I'm kidding. always the worst. I have very little responsibility. Like posting on Instagram. Yo, know, I will say those last two weeks were pretty, pretty I intense. Know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Vox is no longer with us. The pod dog. The pod dog. Uh, I did he get passed. him. Yeah, he he passed away two weeks ago. I got him back yesterday. Did you? Yeah, dude, they uh, did a great job. His little paw print, <laughs> his little hair. They gave him like a little shaving, whatever hair they could find on him. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke. He likes probably butt hair, but he didn't have butt. He hair. doesn't have butt hair. <laughs> so, so this morning, um, one of my friends messaged me on Instagram and was like, "You know how you been doing? I haven't seen you in a while." And I was like, oh, man, I've just been a little bummed out. I was like, you know, <laughs> I was like, Vox passed away. <laughs> uh, and he was like, oh, man, that sucks. I was like, yeah, I'm bummed. Uh, he was my ride or die. Now he's just my die. <laughs> 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 oh, I still love him. Rest in peace, that little baby. I'm happy you can make jokes about it. <sighs> it's the only way I can get through. There's like some days I'm sitting here and I'm just like, <laughs> like, I haven't been drinking because of it. That's good. That's yeah. Sad. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's some nights, like, when he was alive, like, I would come home from work and just look at his cute little face and just get so bummed out about what my life's going to be like without yeah. him. And I just get so fucking sad. So, a couple weeks ago at work, everyone's like, let me buy you a shot. Let me buy you a shot. And I was like, absolutely fucking not. Do you because want me to cry more? I will be fucking <laughs> losing my mind if I'm drinking. So, Crying it's been in the corner at work. Fuck. We do that anyway. Yeah. I don't I don't drink. I do cry in the corner sometimes. But I'm just like, damn. Fucking work's been goddamn shit. Yeah, I pretty much cry in the corner at work too, so <laughs> it's been terrible. We don't ever have like an outline of what we are doing. There's a lot of people that aren't sending us shit. Cause we maybe our podcast is terrible. Is it? Is no. it that bad? No, I, is it that I bad? absolutely enjoy it. I mean, everybody that I talk to says it's fucking awesome. But they're our friends. Not really. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't mean it like that. I, where was I? I was somewhere randomly. And uh, they're like, oh, my God, you're Sarah D. And I said, yeah. And they're like, I listened to your podcast. And I was like, that's, that's fucking cool. <laughs> I was like, thanks. They said they follow us on Instagram. It was a, it was a girl. They probably unfollowed us now. Probably. <sighs> Please come back. <laughs> Once I get my new phone and reinstall Instagram, I will take over Instagram again. I can't post on Instagram. What? Neither can Taylor. Taylor. I don't know. Like like shadow band or something? No, like. I can post on it. Post. But she has the account on her phone and, and can't post. she can't post. That's why nothing's been. Yeah, because I am completely worthless. <laughs> I show up so at your own house. At my own house. <laughs> The house is clean. Looks good. Gonna be cute and talk, right? All right. <laughs> like, I'll put my hair down. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Took a shower. Did you? Yeah. You this did. morning. Well, I was in. in the fucking yard all day, so. So, yeah. The fuck's been up? Taylor's home. Yeah, we got all your stuff. How was that trip? Actually, it wasn't bad. The flight was amazing. 
No problem. Have you flew lately? I just was in Ohio for in October. Did you fly? Yeah. Did it suck? Flying's been uh, sucking lately. Flying out was fine. I got on my way back. I got a text message. They were like, "Your flight in the morning has been canceled." Yeah, see mm-hmm. completely. Okay. And then, then they were like, "Your flight is tonight has been canceled." I was like, "Oh, That's okay." So then I was That's there for a whole mm-hmm. two extra days, I believe. But like on the news, it was because I was flying Southwest. That's and weird. I think like 250 flights got canceled. Okay. Day, well, at least that when we got canceled, it was for weather. It wasn't weather, though. They lied. Yeah. Because if that was the case, we would have been staying in Louisiana. There was a yeah. hurricane coming. Yeah. There was like... I try yeah. That's stuff. So... But I wish we would have got like stuck. I wish we would have known we would have been stuck in Dallas. That way we could have just said, fuck it, and stayed in... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Louisiana, we could have driven home. You know, coming back from Vegas, we get we go to Dallas. I fucking hate Dallas. Dallas is the worst. I've never been to Texas. What? Nothing's bigger, I promise. <laughs> You've never been to Texas? No, I've only been East Coast. Well, no, the furthest west I've been is Indianapolis, and I lived in Ohio. I've been to, like, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Mississippi, Florida, yeah. Alabama. Alabama. Alaska, Arizona, <laughs> Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut. We uh, our layovers in Chicago. What? For an hour. We got a lot of running to do. What? So we are we're flying from Vegas? No. Okay. So there we're going from oh. Norfolk to Chicago. Which one? I don't know. Is it like O'Hare? Yeah. Or? Which one's the nicer one? Is there I think O'Hare is the nicer one. Yeah. See, I'm about to check. Chicago? Yeah. O'Hare. And Dallas on the way back. I think so. Dallas. I completely forgot how big Charlotte's airport is. Huge. Until I came back from Ohio. And I had uh, had a two-hour layover. And I got fucking wasted. (laughs) They were like, oh, your fucking next flight is on the complete opposite side of the airport. And I was shit-faced drunk. When I was going to Florida, I was flying into uh, Charlotte. They knew me there after a while. (laughs) They're like, you're back? I'm like, yeah. I'll see you again in a week. (laughs) Well, when me and Taylor went to Texas, our layover was 30, 40 minutes in Atlanta, and we had to go on the train. Oh, shit. The other side. They were bored when we got there. Terrifying. Atlanta has the tram, right? Yeah. 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 The one that um, I got, you got fucked on the last time. <laughs> Literally fucked no, on no, the last time. No, 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 Turns out the and jump through that bitch. And then it's going to squish me. It's fine. Then we see the airport. Exactly. I would be dead. This train would be going and half my body would be like hitting the walls. Like, just, just, just. <laughs> yeah, you want that? No. You want that on your, your whatever? My, I don't my know. co-host. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Sorry, my co-host. Half my co-host is here. It's in the airport still. Yeah. See? Safety first. You would be like... I'd be like all baked then. <laughs> <laughs> Three fourths baked. <laughs> You're gonna carry half my body here. A little bit in a bag. <laughs> Set you up on the other side. It smells so bad. <laughs> You're gonna have to like salt me. I'm like Norman Bates, his mom. Let's <laughs> keep you alive. Well, keep you preserved. Throw me some borax. That's what drives things out. Borax. Borax, borax, whatever it's called. Isn't it soap? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kills fleas. Makes crystals too. Sprinkle it in your carpet. Mm. That's what every oddity business secret is. Yeah. The yeah. laundry soap. <laughs> the laundry soap. <laughs> Call it all y'all. <laughs> Even myself. <laughs> so what are we gonna start with? Um, I think we need to who are you? Yeah, let's let's introduce ourselves. How do you get in the house? <laughs> How'd you get here? Uh I don't know. I'm just We didn't hear I'm you. Loved by many. Hated by much more. <laughs> uh, I don't know. What, I was at one point in time. Uh, What's this? <laughs> social media, like, no, but I don't do. I just 
work now. Yeah. Where do you work? Uh, Can we talk about that? Nah. No. <laughs> Secrets? I work at an upscale restaurant. So be careful what you um, say. <laughs> yeah. We already um, had this from Rick James, remember? Oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. I work at an upscale restaurant at night. I you roller skate? I roller skate my ass off. I love oh, roller skate. I, um, I create content. Uh, content creator? <laughs> Our first male guest and male content creator. Yes, I actually want to dive into this. All right. <laughs> there, the, the, you're done for now. Yeah. <laughs> done. <laughs> to the questions. Okay, so... Sorry. We were at, we were asked a lot about what kind of content we create as females. Mm -hmm. So, what kind of content do you create as a male? As a male, like what do you? Who's your who's your demographic? Okay, well, my first thing always I tell people, um, even as a straight as a straight male, you have to be completely comfortable with your sexuality because your biggest fans are gonna be gay dudes. My first, I always have posted videos and shit of me like playing with myself and pictures of my dick because I'm decently blessed in that area. See, uh, <laughs> I always posted videos like that, but uh, my first like big request was I had a, a gay dude request a video of me getting off, and I for a long time that was like a big scare of mine was a video of me actually like coming. Yeah, and that's um. Idea. Uh, dude paid me 250 bucks for a three minute video of me jerking my dick and coming. And then, nice. you know, that just, that kind of opened up the floodgates. Right? Literally. <laughs> <laughs> you get some. I mean, okay, that's awesome. So I get like it. it. I do a lot of dick swinging videos, though. That's my favorite. Just, you know, get get a little medium chub. And just, like, and helicopter the shit around? Not, not quite like that. No, <laughs> just, you know, just kind of... Just walk. You know, just kind of, yeah, walk, let it swing a little bit. Nice. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty, I mean, pretty much what I post on mine. Just titties bouncing around. I was going to say, your wiener out? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big old dick. <laughs> just swinging my dick. I do the helicopter. I try to do it with my titties once. And then like, go for a little bit. <laughs> you put the, uh, the little tassels, tassels on. <laughs> when I worked at Clancy's a long time ago, when they were thongs and pasties, girls used to wear them. Yeah. Yeah. And they used oh, to do Clancy's. Clancy's. Oh, we have known each other for so long. <laughs> so you worked in the clubs. I have. Yeah. I won't say the establishment name. Okay. But yeah, I um I Adult Industries. I started off just as a bar back and a cook there. And then they I kinda just bullied my way into bartending. I, Good. I was I said I'm gonna just start pouring drinks whenever they're swamped and need help, which was just one bartender back here. And then they were kinda training me and then I was doing a lot of bartending and still cooking. Yeah. And then I didn't get along with one of the new girls, yeah. so I kind of just left Bitches. because they weren't paying me for shit. Well, they're hiring now, so yeah. they hit me up. <laughs> yeah, I was getting paid really shitty and having to, like, track down the bartender to get my payout at the end of the night because it would take three or four hours just to count money. In. Ugh, I hate that good. shit. I, I'm ready to get the fuck home when I'm, when I'm done with work. I'm hating yeah. being a bartender right now. It sucks. So what do you see in the club that sucks? Me? Like, like, what do you hate about working in clubs? Uh, so it's pros and thing. cons. Pros, fast money. Uh, money at the end of the night, untaxed money. Uh, cons are just really as late as it gets. Like, if it's a real busy fucking night, it's great. And then you think about it in the night, it's like, yo, I still got to break down all this shit. Mm -hmm. I got to count all this fucking money. You got to get the shit set up for tomorrow. But then it sucks when you come in and the people before you didn't fucking clean up for you. But you have to make sure it's mm. fucking great today. Story of my life. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what that's what I'm having an issue with. It's not even like the... Not necessarily like the setting up for the night before. It's like little shit. But like, man, I've been getting fucking nitpicked lately. And I'm like... 
fucking paid enough for this shit. It just drives me insane when, like, I have to clean and make sure everything is perfectly set up for the people that come in in the morning, and then I they don't, don't give a I dick don't about get, you. Yeah, I don't get the same respect yeah. before they leave. Yeah. And so, yo, I stayed here until. 3, 45, 4 o'clock in the morning. Sounds like and my confetti so, incident. <laughs> and as soon as your time is up and it's time for you to clock out, you fucking clock out. Sometimes you clock out 10 minutes early and then I still get fucked. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I hate that shit. Do you have any good stories? <laughs> yeah. Um, what about this? Do you have any good stories as being a person who goes, or who used to go to clubs? Because everyone gets stories from us who works right in, in the industry. So not someone who like goes. You have to say club names okay. or anything. Um, I know you have to have something. I've definitely. Well, I have a huge lactation fetish. Ooh, like and, titty milk? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I got a video for you. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, for a while, I had a girl that would I would go see her dance, and she would like spray milk in my mouth. Yes. Of that nature. Yes. <laughs> I hope it's the same person. <laughs> and um, I've gotten blown in a couple, in a couple. Uh, <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. In VIP or like after? No, in VIP. I've gotten blown in two VIPs. Hmm. We gotta talk about this later. Yo, <laughs> how does it even work? Okay, because like at our bar, like our like our VIPs aren't like pay for by the hour; it's per song. Mm -hmm. So like, I mean, how do you come that quick? I mean, I mean, I, I'm not I, saying no, I are... can't get off from blowjobs. It just feels great. Okay, so yeah. it wasn't a yeah. it wasn't a, a full one. Yeah, no. I can't. A come start from to finish. But to still, <laughs> that's still. I mean, yeah, that's still that's still uh, that's still Knew pretty it. impressive. Yeah, it's, you know, they just start off with one song, and it's like, do you want another song? And I'm just like, I don't you know. Suck I'm dick. just like, I don't know. I don't think, I think I'm just done with that one. And then they just, like, reach into my pants. I'm just like, all right, okay, they pay for another song. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So what does security do? Do they just, like, mm, uh, like At what? both places, I knew the security guard. Okay. Uh, okay. I knew the security guard at the camera very yeah. personally. Did you, did you know the girl? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. And see then. Same girl? No. Okay. Oh. Well, well, I'm saying it shouldn't happen. I don't care if that happens. Right. At least it's not like randoms. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. It's not like Kraken, yeah. right. Jolene from the back. <laughs> <laughs> no, one of them is someone that I like interacted with outside of the club. Okay, I see. And okay. then the other one was just, yeah, she. But still, that's brave as shit. I want to give a BJ and VIP to somebody. <laughs> I'm just. I, that would never fly. <laughs> I mean, that would... No. I mean, that would never fly. <laughs> you got the cameras, like, right... Literally up my butthole. <laughs> like, there was this one time I was doing a VIP, and I was wearing um, uh, nude bottoms, and I looked completely fucking naked in the back. Like, when I looked at the cameras, I was like, holy shit, I look naked. Looks pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I get told it looks like I'm wearing a bra. Oh, because you're tattooed. Yeah. Oh, except yeah. for my boobs. Except for your boobs. <laughs> so it looks like I'm wearing like a... Like a Take your yeah. fucking top off. <laughs> it is. <laughs> uh, that's cool. Blowjobs. And I've always, like, lately... I guess not always. Lately, <laughs> I've been wanting to um, do more, like... PDA stuff. I mean, like, not in your face, but, like, public. Oh, that's my shit. I like... So what is in your shit? <laughs> no, like, uh... Yeah, what don't you like? Uh, I'm a very sexual person. <laughs> I'm um, not. Like, North Hailing State Park, I'm, that's, that's like, a very common... Like, where y'all go hike at, that's definitely somewhere. Like, just is it, like, like, a spot? No, you just kind of go into the thick of the woods and you go kind of... You go kind of <laughs> wait. You go kind of like wait before, like right before the park closes, like so when it's like starting mm. to set. Like oh, when the sun's starting the to romantic. set. The romantic and, and the bears just, come out. <laughs> when, the, when, the, when the critters come out. <laughs> and you just kind of hike the skirt up and bend hmm. over a tree. Okay. Yeah. That's see, like that's my thing. Like I want to wear like a, a skirt, a dress. <laughs> so nope, sometimes you nope. hike in a skirt, like hmm, <laughs> this seems a little <laughs> suspect. <laughs> Photo shoot, guys, chill out. <laughs> There's no camera. Yeah, like, uh, there's hotels on the oceanfront that if you go up to the top floor where the housekeeping closet is, there's a always roof access there, and a lot of the times they're not locked. 
And so, like, humping on top of hotels and stuff like that is something I do a lot. Like, <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah, How... public stuff is fun. Yeah. Like, broke Joe panties, everything. I try, I was, so I got a toy that does that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it has an app and you control it. Yeah, that shit's busted. <laughs> Where'd you get it from? I got it from um, Facebook ad. <laughs> no, I mean it was on Instagram, but it was like the legit click thing. Nah, nah. But I think they sent Adam me. I only yeah. buy toys from Adam. Yeah, I'm like fuck, man. You guys got your promo code. Oh, you have a promo code. I said no. So you guys got. You should get on, get on yeah. for the podcast. I use call her daddies. You what? I call her daddy the podcast. Oh, I use their promo code. Okay. You get 50% off and free shipping. What? How do we get on this? <laughs> Adam Eve, I'll be emailing you after the week. <laughs> right, yes. That'll be my to-do list today. Absolutely. To-do. I mean, two strippers. Yeah. Sexual podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Not that many followers, but we, we'll get there. <laughs> yeah. We could do reviews. We'll just throw them on OnlyFans. Because, you know, Patreon doesn't yeah. work for us. Right. I thought somebody, I thought they were moving over to another, like a lot of people are moving to another platform. Fansly. A lot of people on Fansly. Okay, so maybe yes. you should look into that. Yeah. Because, um, yeah. I'm, Everyone's jumping ship on OnlyFans. Yeah. I need to cash out my money. I got new deck money in there. Yeah, nice. new yeah. bathtub money too. <laughs> Fucking like, but I'm like, I also want new ditties. <laughs> I'm getting mine hopefully in September. <sighs> yeah. When the club fucking closes again, it was supposed to close in June. Yeah, and then, and then May. July or May. Yeah, we're closing down for a month. More Renovations. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's what we said. So that's you don't have good. like any not like stuff. I don't do um, stuff. Um. Yeah. I mean. I'm not into, like, I wouldn't get pegged, but I'm down for a little butt stuff. Yeah, I like butt play yeah, butt around. Play, but yeah, I'm not, not I, I could not, I don't think, I, <laughs> I'm too around. dominant. I feel like I'm too dominant to, like, have something just, like, jammed in there. It's, like, right. submitting too much power. See, I, yeah, I'm, um, I get called a pillow princess, so I guess, like, I'm a sub. Is that what I would be? Yeah. 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 And, um, I... I can't do the humiliation, like, I can't be the, I can't be the dumb. I can't do it. I can't slap people around. I can't oh, fuck yeah. somebody in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, yeah. You get fucked in the butt. Though. No, yeah. absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. That's a Why no. not? Where's the last time you tried it? Why not? God. Um, why, why don't you like it? Yeah, because it makes me feel like I have to poop. Yeah, let's say, did you prep? Did you? Like, no, you it's always enough? surprise butt stuff. No, you no, have, you to, have no. to prep. You have to butt prep. Stuff. You For butt stuff it. to be good, you have to prep. Right. So when I'm like with some, I don't want to say rando dude, but like obviously not some dude I can sit and be like, hi. So should I eat Taco Bell today or not? <laughs> Are we planning on doing butt stuff? First of all, like one of your, like one of your friends, one of your friends is a big fan of butt stuff. She like had like a, a squirt bottle next to her. Last time I went to her house, she had like a squirt bottle next to her bed that she would like squirt up her butt. Do I know exactly who it is? Yeah. Yeah, because she tried to tell me about it. She's like, this is what you do. You squirt it up. And you hold it and you push it, it out until push it it's, until you don't yeah. push any you, until it's not poop you put coming out. a small butt plug up there, leave it there for a couple hours, <laughs> spray back up <laughs> there, switch that it That is up. way too much work. But yeah, that's how you make it enjoyable. Right. Uh, I mean, I guess that's how you make it enjoyable, but it's like. Yes, I don't even do all that. It's, but see, like, <laughs> see, that's me too, because I'd be sitting okay, there and I'd be like, all right, I got to do this today. All right, I'm kind of doing it. I'm most likely going to bail last minute. So it's like... If like, I have a friend of mine who prefers butt stuff. She says she comes way harder from just stuff in her butt and clip play. Damn. It is a better orgasm. I will tell you that. Like, I had one one time doing it, and, but it wasn't, like, from behind butt stuff. It was, like, spooning missionary. Yes, yeah, missionary butt stuff. And spooning butt stuff was, was fun. Um, but I think it's because the wiener Doggy was style is literally like, like one of the worst and most painful ways to do butt yes, stuff. Yes, I am. 
it, like and just, just like my it, vagina, yeah. I can't do the in and out thing. I, it's got to be like in. Because oh <laughs> like every time it comes back, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Usually when they pull it out like that, they want to see it. Gross. It's gone gaping. Yeah. No. Gross. That's cute. No, no, no. I've seen, I've seen one. It was like a porn, and it was like a big ass butt plug, and her ass was like this big. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. Uh uh. I've put my fist in a girl's butt before. What? I put my whole fist, like, literally in a girl's butt hole. I mean, I guess because, like, the only way I've seen butt stuff done is, like, Aggressively in no. a porno. No, because so I the guess worst I need to... exactly. So I, I guess I need to like Google intimate amateur couples butt Look up stuff. Balesa House. Balesa House is porn for women made by women, and it's like okay. Because maybe if it was like, oh baby, let's go over to a romantic <laughs> dinner and squish this in your butt together. I think like, oh that's so sweet. <laughs> They're doing a couples enema, like. That's that's couples goals, right? Intimacy. That's pure, right. That's pure intimacy in this pure okay. form. <laughs> so I mean, I guess like I guess I'll try it like that, but I don't know if I'm gonna like it. <laughs> I'm telling you what now. If you put a butt plug in and you walk around, you're gonna like poker up some. It feels so weird. I love when I see girls at the club and they have plug the plugs in. You can tell? You they, like, no, they have like they'll like some of them shine. Yeah, they shine. They're they're like, they'll the shine or like if you're wearing a thong, if you're gonna see a big fucking jewel sticking out of your butthole. Through their pants? Or at the club? Oh, like at the, the strip club. At the strip yeah. club. Yeah. I thought you were talking about like no, the club I mean, like, club. I'm the, like, these girls the just club. bending over booty holes now. <laughs> <laughs> I used to when I used to work at a club, a vision beach, this girl used to put um glow sticks. Like kinda in her vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. She went to a church to spread her legs. You can see it glowing. It was like, Bleh. yeah. I was, like, I was like, what is that? I'm such a prude. I wouldn't do it. Yeah. What thing is that? waiting to happen. Ooh, yeah. It's like stuck in there. What if it breaks? Ew, all that gooey liquid. And there's glass in some of them. Ew. And all of them. That's how they, that's the snapping. It's okay. the glass on the inside. Oh. Kind of like Ladies. I can swing around Glasgow. It is fucking <laughs> crazy. And like, queef and like <laughs> <laughs> it just shoots out. You like you just like, come up <laughs> paintball. <laughs> hey, wow, <I> got you. <laughs> Glow sticks. Yeah, you're it. Light up butt plugs. I mean, like I see all this shit on the internet. Not in real life. But not in real life. There was definitely two. There was two girls at the establishment used to bartend that that would wear really? butt plugs. I feel mm. like they're so stuck up there. I like. What if it falls out of your butt? It's not gonna fall out. It's not gonna fall out. <laughs> it's way too try to pull yeah. one out. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you? I mean, like, I get like you it's, gotta it's like pull slow, it out. It's a slow process getting that thing out of there. Point it up. It's just like it's like it just slow. It, it sucks goes, it up. It goes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But pulling it out, yeah. They got different ones, like they're still teeny ones. Yeah, I mean, like I was like sets. It's like like a it's kit, like, like, like starts like here and get there. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. In two weeks, try this one. Call it, uh, anal hours. dilation kit. <laughs> wow, it's a whole world of this. I know. I'm gonna get you for your birthday. <laughs> Let me get open. open Play for you and get Sarah into butt stuff. <laughs> oh my god! What? There was like a meme I saw the other day, and it was butt plugs. But it was like when you when you see it, you see it. It was like I don't know, butt plugs, but they were for something else. I don't know. It's crazy. It's not funny anymore. <laughs> <laughs> my mom would be like, "Oh, what are these things? <laughs> these are pretty jewels." I'd be like, oh, mom. No, there was a video going around on Twitter last last month or so of this girl and dancing at the club, and she pulls a butt plug out of her butt, and the dude at the fucking uh, at the stage put it in his mouth ah, and started sucking on it like a no. fucking lollipop. <laughs> I don't know if I can have my body on my hand.
We're not sponsored by them. Let's take it over here. I just like drinking it. Oh, what? Yeah, that's. I mean, I'll eat ass, but I'm not eating something that was in in your your ass. ass. Oh my goodness! (laughs) Ew, it's like. No. No. Uh uh-uh. uh. There's a line. No. Yeah. Did that guy know what he was doing? Yeah, it's like a, it was it was a, a black dude. There was like a bunch of people sitting around. They're like, do and we? This girl, do yeah, and this girl is just like twerking, and she reaches back and pulls it out and goes like this, and he puts it in his mouth and starts like doing the pacifier thing. Oh no! Like, <laughs> Did she put it back in? Oh, all that slab of saloon. <laughs> I'm offended. <laughs> I think we're done for the day. <laughs> wow. That is crazy to me. I mean, like, I know it happens, but it's just like, that. wow. That you would do it in public. <laughs> in public? How dare you? What? What if you pull it out and you like, shit everywhere? The, see, that's, a, that, that's my only issue. I mean, I'm not surprised that people do it, but, like, that's, like, how do you just yank your butt plug out on stage and, like, poop does not come with it? <laughs> just, like, pure, just... Maybe he ate that, too. Ah. Oh. I would be so embarrassed. <laughs> I mean, I have an embarrassing butt story, but, like, <laughs> I'm not even talking about it. Story oh, time. Yeah, yeah. Bring it up and then <laughs> talk about it. Yeah, I don't, yeah, oh my too. god. It, I was definitely aggressively effed in the B and <laughs> came in and had to drive all the way from like fucking shitty Suffolk, Virginia, like Ooh, all the way, like, all the way back here. <laughs> and and I was like, to fart it out. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna shit my pants. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. Sometimes it be like that, you know? I was like 19 years old too, so I was like, "What the fuck? <laughs> well, where else does it go?" I mean, I, like I expected a pullout. Oh, um, well, I mean, you can't get pregnant through your yeah, ass. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, absolutely. If I'm I fucking mean, somebody in the butt, I'm I, not pulling I out. I really, <laughs> really, really fucking liked this dude too. I mean, yeah. Oh, you, you thought. Okay. Well, so, like, I mean, I was married the motherfucker three years ago. But, um, yeah, like, I had a super, like, we were, like, kind of seeing each other. You know, he was still legally married. (laughs) I was getting effed in the B in his old room over the garage at his parents' house. (laughs) Sounds like a winner. (laughs) Clearly, I'm not married. (laughs) Um... But yeah, I mean, I was like, this is like fucking almost, this is like 15 years ago. Is that the last time you had butt sex? No. No. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. That was like one of the first times I had butt sex. And so, yeah. And I was like, ow, this is fucking, you know, this sucks. <laughs> and then it came in my butt. What? What? Is what? what? And then I was like, Gotta go home now. <laughs> like clenching your cheeks. I was. I was like, no, I gotta go. I'll see you later. Thanks for the dinner. Oh. Funny story. Enchilada night. <laughs> the night before. <laughs> no. The other stuff. Too. I was. I was. I was. I was vegetarian at the time too. So I mean, I think everyone went through a vegetarian. He, he was phase. vegetarian, so whatever. I sucked that dude's dick way too long. Just enough protein, so. Oh, man, that was fun. Yeah, that was my embarrassing butt stuff story. I think that's, that's why not I'm embarrassing. Just it's like a common, normal. but like when you're 19, that's embarrassing. Okay. Yeah, you say you know. I, I was expecting you to be like, yeah, this guy fucked me in the butt. He pulled out the poop everywhere. everywhere. I mean, some dude asked me about that. I mean, I don't know if it was like a joking manner. Asked you to poop poop on his chest. I couldn't do it. I can't either. Like, I can really pee fuck? in front of people. Have you peed on someone? No. I get ass. Not ass. Uh, Have you peed on someone? In, I mean, not like in the, the sh- in the shower, yeah. And when I worked at another club, someone always asked. I will sell my pee in a heartbeat, but um, yeah. Where are they at? All right. I think I did, back to the question earlier. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I just thought about the wildest thing I've ever experienced. Um, this was at 
Ooh, we can't say the establishment name. All right, now, um, now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this dude, I was there, and this dancer comes up to me, and she's like, yo, this dude's going to come out of the, he's going to come out of the VIP room with duct tape over his mouth. Tampon guy? Yes. Yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Yes, I want him. I need him. Where's I need him? him. Yeah, I was. I was. I was. Did at, he? Did she pee in? in yeah, it? she peed in the cup. She peed into a cup. He dipped the tampon in it and then put the tampon in his mouth and she duct taped his mouth closed and he walked right out. Where? Of the cup. Where oh, is he? <laughs> where is he? Because oh, I want to do this. The same guy put my underwear in his mouth. Beep beep. <laughs> I I heard about this guy. Mm -hmm. Um, I also heard instead of the dipping of the tampon, it would stay in while girls peed, and then. Floop. <laughs> I can't even do that. I mean, I will. How much does he pay? I don't know. I think I heard it's good. Do they go to the bathroom and pee, and then like walk out with it? So at the club that I heard this was happening at. Security was looking the other way because they knew this dude. So wait, where are they peeing at? Uh, in the VIP room. room. In the trash can? No, in, in I mean room? I guess like over a cup. Oh, no, I can't even pee over a toilet like that. <laughs> you got we'll get the, just we'll whip the sheep pee out. Not? I do have a sheep pee. She has a sheep pee. <laughs> you have a sheep pee. So But you can't squat over a toilet and pee. I always pee. No. Over. She fucking <laughs> I she did the other day. <laughs> no, I sat. Yeah, but you're still like, I, peed I can't head. do it. I did. And you did. I did it. Look at this fucking dog. She jumps sticker. high as shit. Well, I'll pee on myself. I need that dude. I need him. Do you know where he is? Him. Can you find him? <laughs> next time you see I him. Been to a, I, can't, I, can't, I haven't been to a club, I don't think, since. I'm going to hire you left. to find the fetish people to bring to our club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was going to go to a club when I was in North Carolina last weekend, but like I told you, but the guy tried to, he was like, I can hold your club colors behind the fucking desk. No. <laughs> not, that's not how that no. works, dog. <laughs> pee. Now, I've never peed on anybody. I will. Oh, my God, maybe, but it wasn't sexual. It was like a jellyfish sting type of pee on somebody. Does that really work? Yeah, no, I don't, no, it does. It's not, no. I, don't, I don't think so. Uh -uh. I think it's just to they make say fun it, of they, people. They say it actually like could irritate it more what I, from what I saw. Yeah. So I'm like... Yeah. Thing I saw on TikTok, but yeah, I peed on someone's leg before, but that for that reason. Did you have to pee sexual. already, or I don't know that I would like. Yeah, I don't know. Be like, ooh, baby, that's so hot. Let me piss it's, on you. It's not something it's I'm like warm. completely against, but I don't know that it would be like something I would pee into. It would just be something I'd funny be, I mean, for me to yeah, do. I mean, it would be a. It would be funny, I mean, but I guess be. squirting is pee to an extent. No, it's not to an extent. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I know, I've never done it. So. so, when I do it, it feels like I have to pee, so why not? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm, I, I don't know, I'm on the fence about squirt being pee versus cum. I think it's both. It's gotta be. Yeah. I know, I don't cum like that normally. <laughs> where is this, where is this mysterious liquid coming from? Yeah, I mean, have you ever squirted on a, when you were dehydrated? I don't know. I've never paid attention. You start marking it down. I remember the first time I squirted on somebody. Wow, that was embarrassing because I thought I pissed on him. No, I think it's hot. I love it. I love it too. Yeah. It's so warm and <laughs> squishy. It's that comfort. <laughs> but I'm not a I'm not a, a squirt on command person. It's got to be a specific dick, like yeah, specific position, specific dick. All curved up inside. Yeah. Fetal position. <laughs> you gotta I'm on top. Fetal. Yeah. I'm like curled up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the worst person to have sex with, probably. Have you ever <laughs> with anyone with a Prince Albert? No. Oh, well, I don't know. No. no. You don't, don't know? No. <laughs> I've, like, I've touched a dick with it, but not like inside me. Yeah. I think it makes a difference? Yes. It doesn't make a difference for you. Does it like to me? Oh, I mean, absolutely. It feels great when people like tug on it. <sighs> that feels great. Ping. Like, no, I don't, I don't know about that. That's, that's, that's like sounding. 
Like, that would be like sounding, plucking it, but no, like like when a girl's like giving me head and she like nibbles on it, nibbles and like pulls it a little bit, oh. comes it, <laughs> <laughs> sucks on it like a nibble. <laughs> No, I don't think so. I think I've just touched a wiener or seen one. From what I've heard, is like when it feels best, like in prone bone or like from the back because where it's what is prone bone? When you're a uh, doggy, but on your stomach. Oh, okay. I'm prone. learning so much. I didn't know there was a name for that. I didn't yeah, either. It's prone I bone. thought it was just lazy doggy style. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's, when you're laying on your stomach, that's called right. a prone position. So prone bone. Okay. All right. But when you do that, I say when you do that, like girls have experience. I see that. It. They okay. say it rub, like the, because it's like an extra thing on your dick and it just rubs, okay. it rubs directly against your G-spot. Huh. Yeah. Okay. more you know. The more you know. <laughs> should be writing this stuff down, right? <laughs> Fine dude with dick piercing, <laughs> prone bone, <laughs> parentheses, lazy doggy style. <laughs> Lazy dog, lazy dog. Wow. Now, I don't... I've never, like, hooked up with a girl with a piercing on her vagina either. Me either. Or, I, I don't... Or how to do, like, with a tongue piercing. Do any, yeah, I'm I fucking... The, I need to step out of my box. I, I, I think... <laughs> you leave your house. I think tongue piercing on dudes is, like, the, the weirdest looking thing. Yeah, that I don't think it's trashy. I don't mm-hmm. know. But I want my tongue split, and everybody that I wanted my, that I've talked to about getting my tongue split said I need to pierce my tongue first. Because you can slip it through or something. Yeah. Cut it, or whatever it is. Oof. Yeah, I really want my tongue split. I want Imagine if you, like, like, two fucking, two fucking tongues Ooh, on each side of your I don't throat. know, that's so weird to me! <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Let me be pointless, because my tongue doesn't... Go- <laughs> That's as far as it goes. <laughs> That's as far as it goes. Yeah, why does everyone say that? No why is it not normal? No You're way. lying. Stretch it out a little bit more. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little the, the thingy. <laughs> Your webbing is... That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I got a pretty big tongue, I guess. It hurts when I go too far. <laughs> it really does. It pulls. No, as far yeah, as it goes. They... Yeah, uh, yeah, I can't remember what it's called. I didn't get your webbing. I didn't get cut when I was little. Apparently, yeah. my kids got cut. It's supposed to get cut? So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some of them. Because they, they can be, because sometimes it can be worse than that. Like, you can't stick your tongue out at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, man. Tongue splitting. That shit just looks painful to me. I want elf ears really bad. <laughs> I think it'd be cute. No, oh. I just use a filter. No. <laughs> Maybe I should get them. Yeah, I don't know how they do. I think you just cut it. Yeah, they, they, they like fold it. Like, like it's sweater. almost just like what getting your ears fixed. And I've got my ears fixed. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I know you've seen people who've gotten their ears yeah. fixed. <laughs> do you decorate every holiday? Yeah. Okay. Do you see my squishmallows? I like the chicken. My holiday <laughs> ones, my Easter ones. It's my favorite time of year. Easter? Spring, Easter, I love it. Everything's so pretty and pastelly and bright. Summer is my favorite. I actually love summer. I love summer too. I just like being warm. Yeah, it's been nice. Living down on the ocean front in the summer is the absolute best. I hated it. <laughs> I would say it's it was the hell. absolute. Best. I hated it. I hate the ocean front. I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess when I lived down there I when I was younger, it was fun. I would bike everywhere, but too many people. Yeah. Yeah, but they buy weed. They buy weed, and the girls that come here from out of town, they only want True. one thing. Dick. <laughs> Dick. Dick and ocean. Yeah, like, girls come here from fucking the mountains, and all they want to do is go to the bar and bang Fuck some, some dudes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that was me on vacation, too, I guess, when I was younger. Like, F some dude in the Dominican. I used to pretend yes. like I was homeless at the oceanfront. <laughs> We're in, like, two different, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, me and my friend used to sit in the alleyways. We <laughs> homies. And we used to get pizza. <laughs> and she used to get cigarettes. Oh, man. We live in oh, you dream. got stuff? Yeah, we got oh, that's stuff. Cool. We didn't just do right. it for fun. I mean, we did do it for fun, <laughs> but we just, like... <laughs> you got surprises. That's awesome. Goofs. I went to fucking Bush Gardens last weekend. Mm-hmm. How's that? They're I hate. Yeah, for past past oh. members. I'm a past member. Yeah, 
I got a pass. Are you not a pass member? No. You stay back there then. I haven't, yeah, yeah, I haven't been to Bush Gardens in, since the, not Pantheon. What's the other one that just did that? The, the, new, the second newest one. Uh, the drop down? The drop no, down? No, uh, uh, like, Tepesco. Tepe- no? The one that? Wait, it is some Pesto, yeah. yeah, yeah. Since, I hate like, that one. Right when Tim Pesto was built. What is that one? It, it goes up, and then you go up this fucking tower and spin, and then you head. come back down. It's like really I missed dirty. that one when I was there. No, I hate people. Yeah. It's fucking... <laughs> See, I love people. Yo. I'm such a good Amusement person. park people are so weird. They're strange. It's like the largest gathering of the most unattractive people <laughs> ever. And I'm not talking, like... Just face attractive. I'm talking about everything. Lifestyle. So many ugly kids. Like, everyone just looked really dirty. For the amount that I'm paying for a price, I'm like, wow, these people look really fucking gross. But then I remember <laughs> tourists. And Might as well go to a carnival. Yeah, it's, just it's, it's those up. people that are from fucking Appalachia. Right. <laughs> and I mean, like, I'm not talking about, like, being cool or being, like... Hot. I'm Wait, just talking you, about. Your from... <laughs> oh, 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 girl. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look at me when I said that. I was like, "Wait." <laughs> I totally even missed that. <laughs> My family can afford to go. You think me? But it's like they're they're like all rude. I saw a whole family, <laughs> a whole family, on fucking scooters. The jazzies. <laughs> Like, Were they it, all fat? Yes. So there was one lady that was questionable, but she could have had like messed up legs, whatever. But like there was a dude, like a grandfather, maybe dad guy, overweight, wouldn't say like obese, just overweight, had a kid sitting in the basket <laughs> and a kid sitting behind him. I'm surprised the thing was moving. Sitting. Because you know that fucking one hill that goes up Bush Gardens, right? Going up towards like Fest House. Yeah. <laughs> fuck that. But I'm just like, what? I was with a four-year-old, walked the whole park without a stroller. And the only reason we got a stroller was because we wanted to move faster. I that was it. I my daughter yet. I want to take her like when she can ride stuff. How old is she? Six. She's old. Oh now. yeah, Dee Dee rode stuff and she's four, but she, she's also tall. Yeah. But I mean, there was like kid stuff. Yeah, it's the Elmo's world now. I don't want to ride rides with her dog. I don't want to. St- well, then you gotta wait a little <laughs> bit longer. <laughs> <than> that. <laughs> I mean, they got the Elmo roller coaster. Oh, yeah, yeah, there is a there is a roller coaster over there. They wouldn't let me on the caterpillar one because there was already too many adults. I was about to say that. I thought, I'm say that. I get on the one. <laughs> yeah, there was like there was a space open for two more people to go, and so I was getting on with my goddaughter, and they're like, "No, ma'am, it's too full," and I'm like, <laughs> "Like, am I too fat?" I was like, "What?" Were your tits out? N- no, yeah. they, were, they were definitely away. <laughs> he was from Japan too. I was like, "Kanishawa, <laughs> let me on this fucking ride." <laughs> But yeah, Bush Gardens weird. Like, but I forget that. Like, I don't know. I just we have a I just big don't, tourist area. Yeah, I just don't. I don't like stupid people. You know, it's, it's like <laughs> standing in the <laughs> standing in the Everyone's middle of the dumb. fucking walkway. You know, not our fault. Just common sense people, not like dumb people, but like common sense people. Just. Four scooters up a hill, fuck out of the way. Move. Tie them all together. <sighs> Train, so they all push each other. <laughs> so someone recently got mad at me about um, uh, a kid on a leash comment that um, I made. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that at all. Um, so fr- a friend of mine saw a kid on a leash getting pulled to a parking lot, made a post about it, and so how... What, like what I would do, go and pet them. I would ask the parents if I could pet their their dog. <laughs> Some lady freaked out on me. Kids with disabilities and stuff like that. And uh, you know, I told her I was like, it was just a, you know, it's it's obviously a joke, and you it know, I get it. <laughs> but if somebody did it to me and my kid, I would fucking laugh. I would laugh hysterically. <laughs> um, but how it all started was I would go to Bush Gardens, and um we would play this game called dollar bets 
and uh, I would have to like do random dumb shit to um, make a dollar. <laughs> And one of them, we saw a kid on a leash. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Anything for a dollar. Uh, there was a kid on a leash, and my dollar bet was to go ask the dad if I could pet his dog. No shit. When this kid fucking turned around, he had dog face paint. It made his <laughs> face painted like a puppy. <laughs> and the dad, like, the dad was, like, looked a little pissed off at first, but then was like, ha. Huh. And then... <laughs> I walked away. I got two dollars for that one. But yeah, dollar bets. There was another one. It was a, a lady and a an overweight lady on a scooter, and I had to go steal a churro from someone, and I yanked Did it you up. Do it? And she was holding it in her hand, and I yanked it. Out of her hand. <laughs> You're in hell. No, you just stepped in my toe. No. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? She couldn't do shit about it. She was in a scooter. I was well, 19 and very athletic at the time. I didn't even run. I just snatched it and walked. But yeah. This little blonde bitch stole my picture. <laughs> Those things were like $10, right? That's what I would be pissed off about. Yeah. It's like the money I lost. But it was, it was fucking still anyway. So I didn't even get to enjoy it. Oh, but bummer. Yeah. That's that's what I get. Taste of chaos <laughs> down the drain, <laughs> right? <laughs> but yeah, the Bush Gardens, man, fucking weird. I waited in line for an hour and a half to get a pass. Didn't even think about yeah. doing it online. Yeah, no hot dudes, no hot dads, no hot chicks. Is that bad? <laughs> it was that bad. Oh, when we get to Florida, we'll go to the Tampa one. Yeah. The safari one. Yeah, there was, like, one hot dad I saw. And, um, yeah. They're, like, his kids and mine were, like, that's my stomach. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, today I haven't eaten, like, two days. <laughs> oh, yeah, I haven't really been yeah, there was, like, sick. one hot dude. And that was about it. I thought I was going to die at the show, I'll let you know. After I got, like, two, two steps in, I was, like... Done. Nope. Oh, because you weren't feeling it? Because no. you were still feeling sick? Well, I got you should have tried to catch one of those slices of pizza, Doug. I would have thrown up. <laughs> it was at the end of the night, at least. I was sick when I got home. I didn't wash my face or anything. I just put pants on and went to bed. Damn. No. I went in, did my little dancey dance. I was like, okay, I'm fine. And then the next no. day I was like... <laughs> was it like your stomach was just like upset? Yeah. Are were you, you throwing up? Are you no. were afraid to ride home and then well, back to her car. And I went back out to the bars. I kind of wanted to stay out, but I knew that if I stayed out, I was going to get fucked up. Bro, Make it awesome. Mexican. <laughs> Y'all can get Mexican. I, I got to be somewhere. I got to get a little one. I like. I do like Mexican. Yeah, Mexican's good. Mexican's really good. Because what time did we leave? The show was over at like 11.45, right? Yeah. I think I got home at like midnight. Yeah. But I was like, damn, like I'm dressed. Like I got makeup on. Like I'm far distance away from my house like i'm actually like doing the damn thing what did you think of the show i had fun i mean like i i like shows i mean it's like your first one in how long oh. like kind of that kind that kind of show <sighs> years i, I went mean, to see attila yeah have you heard from franz hell no <laughs> hot dude i met him years ago he, he's from here yeah i didn't know that who? I mean, I like I uh, knew it when Caitlin. I realized who. Caitlin, is that his Ka- name? Caitlin? Caitlin? Caitlin. God, yeah. Damn. I used to work with his mom. His mom used to be a bartender at Clancy's when I was there. God, he is fucking hot. He used to be in a. We were gentlemen? Oh, yeah. Oh. That's okay. That's how I knew him then. Because, like, I mean, I knew him. I met him through, like, friends years, years, years ago. I think he dated one of my girlfriends. Um. But yeah, I was like, man, that motherfucker's hot. And then I was like seeing everybody like post pictures with him. And they're like, and he's like, good to be home. And I'm like, <laughs> you live here? You coming back here? Hey, you single. I mean, I think I am too. <laughs> <laughs> I think. <laughs> Funny story. They don't like each other. <laughs> oh, really? Apparently. I was trying to find the information on that, but. I get information because I know someone who knows him very well. Well, yeah. This one I'm just trying to fuck. 
I mean, I think they're in Baltimore today. Mm. Or yesterday. I got to yeah, the, Monday. The well, day, the day after they're in Baltimore, yeah. Yeah. But the uh, legend is good. The band that played before. Mm, mm. That was my first time hearing them. I definitely, okay. I definitely went home and followed their Spotify. I don't really that bad. I guess it's just not my. So, okay, so the last like two songs they played that was really fucking heavy. Yeah. I was like, okay. But of course, I wasn't over <laughs> there anymore. I was like, okay, this is boring. So I was like, I came. I was like, I feel good. I'm going to fucking do this. Seeing people I haven't seen in years. I was like, let's fucking do this. The stage is like this, not the stage, but I guess the dance floor. Right. It's like as big as this. I'm like, <laughs> and like cornered in I'm like eh. yeah I wonder how I like I wonder how it would feel to be a band like go one night playing somewhere that's like decently big you got a couple probably a thousand or so people there and then, and then you come and play Peabody's and, and it's, it's like, like 200 this big well, the stage wasn't big <laughs> no yeah, it's squatty very there's like small. I guess a big thing and then like wood right here they were playing like, Tetris over by us moving the equipment around yeah that stage is really small Mm. like <laughs> yeah it was funny watching that happen i was like do you want us to move like i can get the fuck out of your way i just say something my phone get delivered i get my new phone today y'all it didn't come yesterday i need a new phone Mine's smashed all in the back so i was supposed to sign for it is that it i don't know what the hell that is anyway was I, but i had fun it was good i wore a pink jacket i it was noticeable in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> I've been going to the... I don't know, I mean, we've been going to shows. I've been going since I was like 12, 13. Yeah, I, I, my first... So when I was like 19. <laughs> my first warp, my, I think my first warp tour was 2013. I think my first show was at the warehouse. And Pastor my, Mike owned it. My very first show was a ska band back in the day. Uh, the No Talent Show. And that's oh my slacking. God! <laughs> <laughs> that was my first show at the Norma. The no so, show in backside side. Side. <laughs> my first show was uh, we used to have these like Friday night things at at school, mm-hmm. and the band like high school bands would play. There was a couple like good ones. I wish we had that here. Like when I went in, when I was in Ohio, they had we would go to shows at this high school, and that was like a normal thing. But, yeah. Like, and, and all most of the bands that played were kids that went to the school. Do you remember Peppermint Beach Club? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I was there the very last night they were open. It was a very bloody night. Yeah. <laughs> I went there a couple. I went there a few times <laughs> when <laughs> um, when I was dating Ryan. Um, I mean Richmond was like my first like real real like hardcore. I don't think I've ever been to a show in Richmond. Really? Mm-mm. I've always wanted to. I always want to see so, Dead Nothing in Richmond. So I lived right across the street from 929. Wait, is it 929? Mm-hmm. Nancy Grace. Well, the, same thing, right? Um, But I lived right across the street from there. So I, when I moved, I moved up there in what, 2004? Holy shit. I was, I fucking stood out like a sore thumb. <laughs> I was date like I started dating this dude. Did he was short hair. No, my hair was long and it was its uh, natural color, so it was like light brown. Um, <laughs> my hardcore experience, amazing. So lived on Gray Street and I walked to school and you know through Shaver Court uh, to get to my classes. And I remember it was like the first day of school. I was wearing this cut off jean Abercrombie skirt. This butter yellow striped Abercrombie halter top some knee uh, up to the knee fucking Ugg boots hair long bow yeah shut up what, like a uh, what's it, what's it millionaires oh yeah like what <laughs> the millionaires like some scene band yeah the two these two scene girls with fucking big ass hair bows on them. I and I I'm walking through uh, Schaefer Court and all of a sudden I hear Sex.com. <laughs> and I'm like, random. And then I hear S. Daner. And I'm like, fuck is calling my name. Why is, <laughs> why is somebody saying sex.com? I turn around and it's my friends from Virginia Beach that like I hung out with in high school. Mm-hmm. So they were a year older than me and they would all hang out um, with like Gorilla Crew. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and 
Dave Wood and Down to Nothing and Max Star <laughs> and all those. So I like I went over there and that's when I had a crush on Max. But then I ended up dating uh, Ryan from Brace War and um, lived across the street from Nancy Reagan. They'd have their shows and I'd just sit there like this in my little <laughs> in my little preppy fucking collared shirts, <laughs> my Bermuda shorts. It was so Puka crazy. <laughs> no, I did not have Puka Shell necklace. <laughs> we went to a show out there next month. Yeah. There's a, there's a good show play next month. It's a Chelsea Grin, Body Ooh, Snatcher. That's all you had to say was Chelsea Grin. Body Snatcher, Dying Fetus, and Frozen Soul. That's in Richmond? Mm-hmm. That can happen. I'm not a good fan of Frozen Soul, though. I'm a real big fan of Chelsea Grin. Me though. too. I've never heard of any of these. You want to go? I mean, I'll go. It'll be fun. I had fun last time. Oh, it's going to be worse than Attila. Way bigger. It's going to be bigger and more mm-hmm. violent, I'm sure. Well, I mean, I'm not going to be standing where you are. Like, I'll be in my little corner. I mean, I'm okay. You can stand with me. I'm not getting punched in the face. I'll protect I you. didn't get punched in the face. I've been spin kicked once. Okay? Were you there for that? At Warped Tour? I got spin kicked in the face and knocked out. Just, just roll up in my little Hello Kitty outfit and stand there. Be as bright as possible. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were we, we were sitting there watching the bands play on Sunday, and you know everyone's like screaming, they're like yeah, fuck yeah, and I was like, you guys did great. <laughs> you I was like, that was great, so honey. awesome. You're doing great. Honey. Like we seriously, we looked out of place, like just where we were sitting, like. We were like by all the band shit. But you did get a good view. Of like yeah, I did. Itself. I got I got to see everything. Mm-hmm. You know, I was expecting you to be on the rafters. I can't reach them. Okay, you could have like no dude was, is gonna fucking yeah. lift you up. If you would have saw the dude that fell and bounced off the floor, <laughs> right? No dude he is gonna let like you fall. Pounds. You don't know that. No one's gonna let you fall. Oh. And if they did, what am I gonna do? Just hang there? And there's gonna be enough yeah. hands. Yeah, to try and touch you. Yeah, to try exactly. To touch you. I I fucking thought that was gonna happen. I thought you were gonna do it. I was, I was a little disappointed. I went in there. I'm telling you, it felt like I was just gonna like shit people. your pants. Oh. No, like murder <laughs> people. And then it just like it hit me. I was like, I can't. I've, I haven't eaten in three days, you know. And plus, I'm Seneca. Seneca me and you some mosh together, like back in the day, like. Yeah, I've seen Victoria knock some bitches out. <laughs> I, I used to be mean, and I mean, I'm just like it'll be, it'll be these li- little the little girls would try and get in and try and dance and like, like be, fuck be no, and she would just come in and just be guys. <laughs> I didn't give a shit. But now I'm just like I am perfectly fine spectating. I'll spectate a little closer next time. <laughs> okay, deal. Yeah, I'll spectate a little. So I did um, actually try to find you. So I went, um, I went to the bathroom and, um, right, uh, in front of the stage, obviously <clears> up <throat> against the wall, I guess, like where they're doing the sound and mm-hmm. lights and stuff, there was a little, uh, platform I stood on and I, I filmed it for you. I was trying to find you, okay. but nothing. No, okay, I, can, I couldn't see shit in there. There's way too many people moving around. Yeah, it's a lot going on. A lot of yeah. people get kicked out at once. I saw, so that's when um, I was standing there because I, like, I got stuck there because I uh, couldn't get to the table. Like, everyone's getting pulled out. Um, uh, a few, like, looked like somebody was, like, fighting somebody. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And, a little, um, little, 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 little fight. A little, t- a little, little tiff. But, um, I, I hung it, I hung there for a second until that was Done. cleared out. I just was like, eh. and then I went back to my seat, but it was fun. I mean, I had fun there. I mean, I don't, um, I don't dislike that kind of music. Who's that other I just, show? you know, I don't know it. I kind of want to go sh- to that, uh, what is it? Black Veil Bride Show. Did you see that, uh, the thing I sent you? For, uh, what is it? Blue Ridge? Yeah, the Blue Ridge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my, friend my, said, <laughs> my friend said, <laughs> my friend was, hey, have you seen the lineup for this festival coming up? And I was like, no, no way. He's like, look it up. <coughs> so I did. And I sent it to them. I was like, we should go to this. Three Doors Down and Buck Cherry oh, are going to yeah, be there. Oh, yeah, that's straight mob rock. I like, 
Oh, but there's there's a, there's a lot of a lot of like bands gonna stuff? be there. I like heavy. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I was um, familiar see, with see some of them. Down. <laughs> no, there was a good, there was some good ones on there. Someone sent me a really good show yesterday that we're gonna go to. It's um like Power Man, Power Man Five Thousand, Mudbane, and uh, like Static X maybe. Like wow, that would um. It's in June, I think. Power Man Five Thousand. Do, do they still do Blue Owl? No. Uh, Lunatic Blue Owl. I think so I because think all so, our trashy terrible. girls still go to it. Oh yeah, I forgot that they do that. Oh, Blue Ridge Rock Fest. I can't wait for uh, the the mud crickets to come out. Mud crickets? What the fuck is that? <laughs> what are mud crickets? That's what the girls like uh, go to country shows and just. Oh, it's just, a it's this breed of girl. <laughs> yeah. Mud crickets are girls that go to country shows and well, all year they're regular. Girls and then country concerts come around and they're in Daisy Dukes and Cowboy well, don't hats say and shit Cowboy about me. And they only I just got a sweet pair. And they go there and they yeah, hump the dudes with the trucks and they uh, only. I've got new boots too. I know new boot goofing. New boot goofing. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Mine are pewter and I love them. Pewter. Yes. <laughs> Is it actually pink or just this metallic one? Which yeah. ones did you get? I got the. They're like gunmetal. And Taylor got pink ones. Oh, okay. Yeah, because they didn't have the pink ones in my size. I bought my own. I bought Ariats. <laughs> like, <clears throat> legit ones. <laughs> I got, um, I don't even know what they're called. Barbie boots? Yeah. The pink ones. I wish they were pink. No, those are rain boots. <laughs> Your yeah. new doll skill boots are dope as fuck. Oh, my pleather ones? We need to talk to doll yeah. skills, too. Yeah. Sponsor us. <laughs> right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, because, like, I'll, I'll be wearing their outfits on here. Like, come on. You know, they always share other people's, like, when they get their packages and they put them on. Like, they always share other people's, but whenever I tag them, they never fucking... Do they ever see it? Yeah, they fucking respond on my messages. Oh, you look so it. fucking cute. I'm like, fucking put your story. Yeah, bro. But tell them that. I get mad because... They look at your the, father like... That bitch already got it up in like this, Shit, I only got like 300. <laughs> well, Centerfold sees my shit all the time. They don't sell it or promote it. it. Yeah, repost it. Mm. So they got too many tattoos for you? Too many tattoos for you, Playboy? Mm-mm. I'm so mad you did mid rock with rock girl that one year, and then the girl, <laughs> the, the girl that did, I'm like, yo, that bitch just not look you, like a rock girl. You like, did fire girl too? You, you embody rock girl. Mm. 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 <laughs> mm. Mm. That shit's rigged. Rigged. I've been told by someone who used to work there. Rigged. Well, the girl that won the year I did it, um, uh, so they told me that the reason why I would never win was because I worked at a club. At a club. But the girl who won that year worked at a different club. And and the girl that won, um, you know, she's a cool girl. I've known her for years. She's awesome. Um but it was rigged. Oh yeah, this... like she's de- like the girl that won definitely is super hot, but they definitely had a look they were going for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it wasn't. It's me. not tattoos. Yeah, they don't like tattoos. Do we do anything on this list? Yeah, yeah. what do we do? Funny's request. Show. We did Sunday show. We're in Seneca out. How are we doing that? Oh, he's talking about his little. Do you do any other sex work? Yeah. Well, there's uh, something you want to talk about. We do not want to talk about that anymore on camera. We don't have to. <coughs> See, if we have Patreon, we could save that stuff for the Patreon. Right. We don't have Patreon. But realistically, are we going to keep up with Patreon? Yeah, uh, I used to. I haven't in a long time. But I used to um, do pro bull work. Like bull riding? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I don't know. I, I usually dress well. And I would go to more expensive restaurants, things of that nature, and shake hands with the right people. And old woman, that oh, shit. Yeah. And Is that um, what we have to do. I yeah, we need. I, we and need old help. white dudes for some reason love to see young tattooed black dudes fuck their wives. <laughs> I <laughs> That's love a very this. common thing. I love this. I wish old white dudes would love to see me fuck their wives too because. <laughs> I'm sure they would. I need some money. I'm <laughs> so absolutely wait, sure they would. After a podcast, can you tell us what restaurant you went to? So we... <laughs> oh, I, 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 can give you, I can absolutely give you spots. Maybe we can just find sugar daddies. Boob daddies. Great. Boob daddies. I, like, I, I don't even daddies. need... 
I don't need a, an expensive fucking car. I already got one of those. I want a truck. Right? I've been looking for them. I want a new deck. <laughs> I need a bathtub. I want a sliding glass door. House stuff. You need a house daddy. I need a house daddy. I need a house daddy. That's what I need. But yeah, I think we need to uh, step guys, out. I'll put you guys into some situations. Yeah. Situations? I, it's exactly where I want to be. Situations. <laughs> yes. As long as you're safe. I want to eat some food I can't pronounce. Are there pinkies up? Yeah. <laughs> I'll drink water out of a wine glass. Perfect. I will too. <laughs> I'll, can, I will, I will white Dew. trash the shit out of a Red Bull and a straw. <laughs> I need Mountain Dew in these places. We'll bring our own. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just... Can we get have that? Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Who said? <laughs> Can you pour this for me? <laughs> Bottle service with Mountain Dew. Can I Dew? just get a cold glass? for what? Oh, I have my own beverage. <laughs> 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 and a whole 12 pack. <laughs> Open it. Anyone else? <laughs> no, but we should definitely go there and eat and just fucking chill. There's a ladies' night, and I should have gone last week when I had off work. When's your ladies' night? Um, thurs- Thursdays. Yeah, it was the yeah, it was, it was the open until Thursday. Oh. Yeah, and um, I wanted to go out, but I had because uh one of the girls from work hit me up and was like, hey, are you doing anything tonight? And I was like, fuck. She was the one that told me about it. Mm. And, um... Is that who I think it is? Yeah. Ellen? No. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Ellen. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> fuck, she does click Ellen's Lola looks like Ellen. <laughs> she get her back on the podcast, too. But yeah, I was doing yard work all day Thursday, so I was like fucking exhausted. And I didn't want to do shit. But I should have gone. Because like, I don't know. I need to change. I need to do something. Now that the weather's nice, now that it's fucking, I... More hiking? Yes. Now that crusty old winter is gone. I just can't wait for a boat season. Fuck, yes. I got a blow up paddle board. I want to use it. Yeah. Can you put the kayaks in your car? Um, I think my parents have racks for them, so yes. I mean, you have I more than one. Mhm. Yeah. I got two. Yeah. And a paddleboard. Yeah, I'm trying to kayak. Right? I haven't used them. I've had them for two years. <laughs> you haven't used them? No, the kayaks. I don't think I, I, mean, I have kayaks since I've gotten them, but not with. That my one. Own. <laughs> right. Yeah, I want to do that boat season. I can't wait. I wonder who's yeah, going to be um, having their boats out. Uh, everyone. These gas prices. I've never been on, like, uh, they, like I mean, they're starting to go back down. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely have some friends with, um... I want to do boat stuff. Like, yeah. Boats. I'm you trying do, to do boat you stuff, You do too. butt stuff, I do boat stuff. <laughs> so that was going to work. <laughs> 2022. I, I could do butt stuff on boat stuff. Boat stuff. <laughs> butt stuff on the boat. Boat butt stuff. <laughs> But, but. <laughs> Only thing is content coming soon. Content coming soon. <laughs> Just don't record the first like five minutes of it going in because it hurts sometimes <laughs> and you want your face on it. Or you that, see, it. that's another thing. Like, uh, you buy lube that has like numbing stuff in it. Yeah, but then it gets on your dick and then. It doesn't last that long though. Yeah. Oh. We got this. I believe in you. <clears throat> it's really unsafe to use numbing stuff or butt stuff because it's like. Yes. Hurting is like telling you you're doing something wrong, you know. So Yolo. if you're, if, 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 <laughs> if you got the numbing shit on, that's like, that's like when you get tears and shit like that. Mm. I don't want a torn butthole. Ow! I never have a torn butthole. Oh, what's the poop situation like afterwards? Like I'm not talking like directly afterwards, but like. I mean, it's your butt. It's just normal. Normal? Yeah. yeah, I'm sure you've taken some huge no. shits before it goes back. No, like when he pulls out, your butthole stays like this big for a couple of days. Days? And it just plops out. <laughs> <laughs> it's just plopping around. It goes... <laughs> <laughs> no, it just shrinks back up. Little, little, oh, little. that's just... I don't know. I, I don't want to say it's weird. It's, it feels and sounds very uncomfortable. I remember the first time I tried it, it was <laughs> terrible. Worst experience ever. I was in the shower, no lube. Oh. And like, half I was like, nope, done. Uh, yeah. I mean, I definitely see preparation. Like, I get it. 
don't want to. When I was in just, high school, the girl I was dating in high school, we used to do it all the time, but we never used lube. And now as an adult, spit? yeah. <laughs> now as an adult, I'm like, <laughs> I would never. <laughs> I, I mean, she liked it. I feel like for me, but stuff would have to be spontaneous and the whole preparation, maybe it would have to be private <laughs> preparation. Well, it can be spontaneous if you had to. Th- but that's what I'm saying. Like m- the person I'm doing butt stuff with would be surprise. I think you want to put it in my butt tonight. Oh, okay. And they'd be like, fuck it's on yeah. your turn. I guess. Yes. I guess. But I mean, I guess like if I want it to be, I don't know how butt stuff can be intimate. Like, baby, I love you. Ooh, this butt was so it's, nice. It's, it's, he shit out of this. Can't wait to hear you. It's the same it. thing. How could that be? It's the same thing. Because it's, it's your just, butt. It's just like a couple inches away. Because it's, <laughs> so. it's your butt. It's your butt. It's your butthole. Toxins come out of there. Babies come out of vaginas. This is a glorious rebirth. Poop when it comes out of your butt. Options come out of your poop, too. I mean, it does. <laughs> this this is for cleansing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, flower and starfish. There you go. <laughs> flower and <laughs> starfish. Oh, I would need like flowers or something afterwards. I would just need him to tell me I'm just aftercare. so pretty. Aftercare. Taco Bell. Uh, yes. Girl, you've earned this crunch fat supreme. <laughs> <laughs> I think every time we podcast, talk we talk food. about butt stuff. About, talk about every time we record. So weird that I haven't pushed, like, stop, restart. Oh, yeah, we've just been flowing continuously. Well, like a butthole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Okay. What, what did we talk about here? We already talked about the... The funny stories. I don't have any, like, funny stories. I have that scary story, but I don't want to tell that on camera. Yeah. Nothing funny has been happening in the club lately. The only thing funny is me losing my sanity. The only joke in that club is us. Yeah. Like, literally, (laughs) the whole entire club experience right now is a giant fucking joke. I can't remember the last time I went to y'all's club. Don't. It's (laughs) fun. Like, I I would would love for you to come. But I'm embarrassed at the fact that I have to tell certain people certain things every single fucking shift. We have a fucking ones machine now. Garbage. It's complete garbage. I don't care if I get fired. I really don't give a shit. It's fucking garbage. I mean, at least you're giving out real money. Hey, I went to a club. But if you're getting, like, okay. I went to a club, they gave me fake money. They took my, they took my cash. And yeah. Gave me fake money. Don't worry. I think that's coming. <laughs> I think that's next on the list. Thank and you. I think it's the fucking dumbest fucking idea ever. We are the reason people come in to that establishment. If there were no strippers there, it would just be a fucking It'd bar. A bar yeah. Right. So my whole thing is, I see, I see why we have the ones machine. Let other motherfuckers use that. You know what I mean? Like, who wants to use it can use it. No, not even who wants to use it. Make fucking people use it. But the people who spend money, who take care of... I don't, I don't even care if they just take care of a dancer. Mm-hmm. If he takes three or $300 out, and he spends all 300 fucking dollars on one person, whether it be the dancer, the fucking DJ, the bartender, fucking if he had a waitress, if the money is getting spent... Let that motherfucker cash out ones at the bar. I don't understand it. I don't get it. We had someone turn out, what, he went like 500? 500. Spends the money. Comes in there numerous times and spends money and was denied. I always get dollars before I go. I never... Well, he won't use the machine. No, he won't. So he he started bringing... I think he said he was going to start bringing in his own money, but I haven't seen him in a couple weeks. Um, I think it's... Um... We're, like, the only club in Virginia Beach that doesn't charge a cover fee. So if you want to come to a fucking titty bar for free, come to our club. If you want to sit at my bar and not fucking drink, come sit at my bar. Like, for real. I'm fucking over it. I don't understand. don't you do topless there, too? We have topless VIPs. But, I mean, the bikini situation is very fucking tiny. So, like, there's no fucking cover. 
We have dumbass fucking customers coming in. I would rather have 10 quality fucking customers in my bar on a Friday night than 30 non-tipping ones. Yeah. I feel like it's not spin. Literally, we are the fucking runoff of strip clubs right now, and I think it's... <laughs> I think it's the dumbest thing ever. I don't know. People are bitching about not making money, but yet there's no group effort on making money. You're allowing broke-ass motherfuckers to walk in the bar and spend money. Or not spend money, sorry. Take up our time. They're sitting at my bar, not spending any fucking money. Not tipping. Not so tipping. Even if, even if I came at like 12, they're still not a cover. No. No. That's insane. We're not even busy at 12. <laughs> We're not even busy at 12. Yeah, that's a little crazy. Like, it's bl- it blows my fucking mind. What do you say, Virginia Beach? I thought you were in Chesapeake. We, it, yeah, Chesapeake. Chesapeake. Well, when me uh, and Taylor right. worked, yeah, when we worked at the place in Virginia Beach, we went to the other one. I got charged $10 to walk in the door on a, on a Tuesday. A female, which I don't have a problem with doing. Are you talking the place that I worked? No. No. Oh, I, I that was yeah, $20 they, for yeah, me to get on a charge, fucking Tuesday. Yeah. Well, no, I went there, and there wasn't a single customer there. Right? And they don't charge you cover. No, they don't charge you cover. No, but... It won't be back. <laughs> I, went in, I went into this place on a Tuesday. I went in at 12, 30, 1 o'clock, and they said, oh, $10. And I said, oh, word? Because I was just blown away at that it was $10 on seen? a Tuesday. I mean, I was, kind of, I was kind of bummed out because I have worked there before, um, but at the same time, I'd never seen that dude at the door. I am. But I was willing to pay the $10 to get in. I get it. I wasn't there to throw my, I had no money to fucking throw. I did drink at the bar and tip the bar, but, um, I was, pr- I, I got dragged out pretty much, but yeah, fucking, you want to come in to a fucking titty bar on a Friday and Saturday night and, you know, have the party experience, but not contribute, come to our club because that's what we're there for. <laughs> Like I have not, I have not been breaking, like three fifty on the weekends. That's fucking baloney. Gas prices are up. The economy. There's a war in another country. I work two jobs a day to make that a day. <laughs> am I being prissy? No. <laughs> am I being? Am I being fucking? I should be making fucking five hundred dollars on the Saturday night. At a titty bar. Yeah, at a titty bar. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like, Sarah was like, hmm. I wish I could be a good dancer. <laughs> you could be a guy dancer. Fucking guy dance club. Yeah, they're, they're, they're still the hot candy boys. Yeah, they're it's so lame, though. That shit's so lame. You're better off to have a party than that shit. That. Words to say about this. Swinging your dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're better off swinging your dick by yourself. Privately. I auditioned for hard candy. And they said no? Yeah. What? Did they see your dingus? <laughs> this was this was like twenty. It was before Amethyst was born, so like twenty fourteen. Let's try again. No. Well, now they're like a different name, aren't they? And I have like ethical things with them, so. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Fuck the club scene. I'm. I love it, but I fucking I hate it right now. It's there's this weird fucking shit going on I don't know what it is it's about to be summertime dog I know I need I was thinking about maybe like getting holding it out holding it out just a little longer then all these fucking well we slow down in the summer this is our slow season because outdoor shit's open uh kids have summer break and you're so far away from the tourist attractions right summer concerts go till 11 when now when they were having them just bite the bullet and go to a beach club Mm, fuck, I cannot bartend anywhere else. Come with me tonight. Physically. Cannot do it. I tried. I did a guest shift at Chemistry, oh, yeah. and I was like, what's free pour mean? <laughs> There's no, what? There's oh, no wait, pour. Have the... We have a pour system. Oh, yeah. But also, I don't fuck around with fucking spring and summer drinks. You want something blended? <laughs> No, I mean, go to a, a dance club. To go to the two M's. Go to one of the two M's. Mm-mm. That's 
You gotta you think about with it. me tonight. That's right there by the we're we're right there by the ocean front. I don't. That's where I don't want to push anyone out of one of them. I know one of them is yeah. looking for a bartender. But the other one, I don't know if I could bring myself back into that place. The big M or the, the big M. I know. He's been. I told you he's messaged me. Like that's where that's where I was born and raised. <laughs> I will I will have a small attachment. To that place but as far as like being employed yeah I by that say, company again I want to say that because it's summertime and right. when all the tourists I come mean, the first thing a lot of dudes we're the closest strip club and then boom right right the if uh if I went to the smaller M I would probably dance but I think I, I don't feel physically adequate right now like I don't you should see some of the girls that <laughs> dance there <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I mean, like, I'm not flexible anymore. Like, my butt looks like shit. There's some girls that don't even. That there's some girls that pole tricks. There's some girls that the little M that don't do pole tricks at all. They just do floor work. That's all. I would just be (laughs) stop dropping and rolling all over the place. That's all you need to do if you can get your people coming. I don't got people anymore. (laughs) My people have stopped coming to see me. Yeah, but if you go there and start dancing. The way you look. I know. We don't even know we can work whenever we want. Right. So. I think financially it's a smart decision. I think so. I mean, definitely. I would, like, I definitely have to be on the verge of, like, sucking street dick. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not because I don't want to work there. It's just because I'm insecure about my body right now. And that drive is so motherfucking far. I cannot get hammered up there. Are you? Well, I. Wait, that's I, further I, than you know. Battlefield? Look, I'm on the interstate most of Chesapeake, like most of that one. Oh, yeah, you can get on the interstate right here. So, yeah. if I'm going to either one of those spots, there is no short, I'm either shore drive, which is absolutely hell no drinking. I mean, I can definitely, if I get hop hammered. On like, hop on an independence. That's what I that, did. <laughs> that could be scary, but it would definitely be a lot easier yeah, that's what than I did shore drive. Got, got yeah. And I know that way. At least that's mostly interstate. And maybe I just won't get fucking hammered then. You know, maybe I should just be a responsible adult. <laughs> you can only drink when I drink at work. <laughs> Fountain dudes it is. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I don't know. Fuck it. I might come out tonight. Do it. Just at least come out. I'm, doing I'm like, off tonight. Yeah. 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 coming out. Yeah? I'm off tonight, yeah. I'm going grilling at like 6 but after that and you start at what 10 yeah I go in at 9.30 is uh the big M? little one is what's his name coming out yeah. my my dog food supplier <laughs> I don't I can ask I'm not the one who talks to him like that anymore uh, I guess I gotta it's sit in my bush it's our manager who's never here oh <laughs> but she's on like the blacklist with him too oh yeah so, I'll mess with him. He's on my blacklist. Ooh, maybe we can get... I need I need Someone. dog food money. Because the dogs just start eating some new dog food. It's like $56 a fucking 20-pound bag. That's Why? That's a bigger increase. Because they can't eat puppy food anymore. And, yeah. Thank God you get your eggs for me. Fuck, it's a whole thing with these guys. <sighs> okay. I'll mess with him. Yeah. My dog food doubled in price. Fuck. Fuck, I'm pissed. How did I lose a dog and my dog food doubled? <laughs> and so you won't forget them. <laughs> Here's a bill, bitch. I think we, uh, did we hit all these? I think the only thing, we leave leaving Vegas in two, yeah. two weeks. Yeah. I've never been to Vegas still. Me either. I've been like 11 million <clears throat> times. We need to, like... I have, like, a rule, because I'm, I'm afraid... I don't want to go to Vegas unless I have at least two grand that I can lose and not care about. I'm making a ring up hiking. I'm going to yeah. be so poor. Yeah, like, That's I don't want... Working. I want to go yeah. out there and spend money. Like, I'm, I, I don't want to go out... Like, if I go out there, I want to go out there. Maybe after this, I'll, like, stretch and maybe do some physical uh, activity. I don't want to get Fuck. Okay, if I'm dancing tonight, <laughs> no Mexican... <laughs> None. Mexican. God, that sounds so good, though. Too I haven't, like, eaten in, like, three days, though. Go for a ride on the bike. Ooh. I, um... Do you have an extra helmet? Mm-hmm. 
Maybe. I used to have one. It was pink. <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> oh, man. If I didn't have to go get my kiddo, I would go with y'all. I have something to do. I think you're lying now. No. Oh, I just have to move yard stuff today. Actually, I can't even do it. It's too heavy. Oh, you know man you got here. a man here right now. I got a man here. <laughs> I got a man here. Yay! Are we going to record while we're in Vegas? Probably. I want to. Yeah. You guys start least, doing mini shows. Yeah, like we need to go, start. Like, if you guys go out places together, you guys start doing mini shows. Yeah. Let's see. When we're, when we we're supposed to start. We should have done one at the show on Sunday. Absolutely. That would have been fucking great. The no. commentary would have been, been dope. <laughs> it would have been better if y'all were like close to the pit. Dude. So I'm be like, <laughs> well, you should have heard the shit we were talking <laughs> the whole time. Well, I thought what's his name was gay. I was like, dude, he's gay. I was like, he's got to be gay. That was a topic of conversation. Look at this bitch. We're supposed to record on the week we leave. Okay. So we can record and still record while we're there. Yeah. We can, yeah, I think we should do, like, little mini videos. Taylor said, what are you doing? <laughs> um, you're Podcast. on No Call No Show. Again. So that's a wrap? I don't know. Is that a wrap? Is that everything? Yeah, I gotta go potty. <laughs> <laughs> we have to stop the podcast because someone has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> nah, I, that's it. I think yeah. that's it. Now we gotta figure out how to send this to Steve from an iPad. Well, it's on here, so I wonder if I can just email it to him. It's a big ass email. It's an hour and 30 minutes long. You'll figure it out. <laughs> Have fun, Sarah. Yay. <laughs> Thanks for coming to the podcast. I'm Victoria. Sarah D. Seneca. Seneca. <laughs> <laughs> See you in two weeks. Maybe. Bye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>